being here today. Uh, my name is Sandra Villarreal and I am the Health Services Manager for the San Angelo Tom Green County Health Department. Here I've got with me Marie Aguilar, the Nursing Director, Dr. Steven Seifert, our Health Authority, and Jan McCleary, our Immunization Coordinator. We um, asked you all to be here today because we would like to just go over briefly um, the influenza season, I guess, cautions or precautions, and uh, just give you some information um, in generalities against the influenza virus, as well as uh, talk about the H1N1 vaccine. So um, here today, let me go ahead and get started with Jan McCleary and I'm sorry, we'll go ahead and get started with Dr. Steven Seifert. He's going to go briefly over influenza in general. Um, yeah, th <laughs> thanks for, for being here and uh, for you, those of you all watching on TV, hopefully this will be informative. Um, I think the first thing that we probably all ought to uh, think about and remember is that um, all of these strains of the, f of the flu that we're talking about um, are all still just the flu. The same flu that, that many of us had when we were children, that our grandparents dealt with, and um, all without the benefit of vaccines um, or antiviral medications. And so the first thing to probably do uh, is to make sure that we all take our own polls first, not get too excited about this, um, and make, make good decisions about how we treat this. Um, the flu is a virus. Um, like many other viruses we see, uh, it is more prevalent in the wintertime. Um, and so that as the, the flu season approaches, uh, in fact, it's, it's already here a little bit early, but as, it, as the winter approaches and, and uh, we start to see more cases, um, it becomes more important for everybody um, uh, in regards to their, their personal health and that of their family. Um, the first thing, again, to probably remember is uh, that being the flu, um, you're going to want to make sure and try to keep this disease from spreading to other people within your family or outside your family into the community. And so uh, if you suspect you have the flu, uh, the best recommendations that we're offering now are to stay home, um, certainly until the fever breaks for at least 24 hours before you attempt to go back to work, back to school, um, or attending social functions like church or, or what have you. So the main thing, again, stay home, uh, take Tylenol, drink lots of fluids. That's, um, that, that can never be overstated. Um, so that you don't become dehydrated. If you choose not to, or if you're unable to eat for uh, two or three days, um, that's okay, uh, as long as you're drinking fluids. Um, water's fine. Um, all of us have, have uh, grown up drinking Gatorade or other some other uh, electrolyte drink, but water itself is fine. Um, Again, in thinking about treating the flu, Tylenol and Motrin are good for the fever and the body aches, um, and lots of rest. Uh, now, when we, when we talk about the flu, probably the, one of the things that we should talk about first is what are the symptoms? How do you know you have the flu? Well, we all have heard about being tested, um, and that's, that's true. You can go to the, your, your doctor's office or the emergency room or somewhere else to be tested officially for the flu, but that's not always necessary. If you have a high fever, a headache, body aches, sore throat, you probably have the flu. Um, and at this point, it really doesn't matter whether it's uh, type A influenza, type B influenza, or the swine flu H1N1 that we've all heard about, which is a type A flu. Um, it doesn't matter. They're all, they're all about the same in their um, severity. Uh, they're all about the same in how long the, the illness lasts. Um, and so um, one thing that we really want to make sure and drive home is that despite all, a lot of the media hype um, from the, a lot of the national media, the swine flu is no more severe than 
um, type uh, A or type B influenza. Uh, and so, again, the precautions we talked about, uh, staying at home, trying to avoid um, the spread of the virus by making sure that, you know, you, you cover your mouth when you cough, that you wash your hands, that you take all the necessary precautions, both within your house and outside, those all apply to this virus as well as any other. Um, there are some instances with, with the H1N1 flu, with type A flu, uh, with any virus, uh, some people will get sicker than others, and a lot of that depends upon uh, the individual's uh, immune response. And so if, if some individuals are sicker than others, uh, th there will be times that, that you may need to come to the hospital, and that's always, or, or see your, your family doctor, and that's always a hard decision to make. But um, if it's just a fever, just body aches, just a sore throat and a headache, you probably don't necessarily need to see, seek medical um, help. On the other hand, if you're having so much vomiting and diarrhea that you're not able to keep fluids down, uh, if you're having respiratory difficulties where it's uh, extremely difficult to breathe, um, where you feel like you're not getting enough oxygen, if there are any mental status changes, uh, i.e. if the patient becomes confused or delirious, those would be reasons to seek medical help. Um, again, if you're ever not certain, it's better to, to seek medical help. Um, but if, if it's the, the type of illness that, that you're comfortable taking care of at home, there's not necessarily anything that your physician um, or the emergency room is going to be able to offer. Now, we do treat um, the flu uh, at times with antiviral medications. Uh, those medications have been shown to shorten the duration of the illness by um, maybe a day or two, um, but all of this still requires your body's immune system to fight off the virus and get well. And so um, the biggest thing that we'd like to encourage everybody to do is um, not to panic, to sort of take care of this as, as your grandmother and grandpa taught you to do back when you were kids. Um, Lots of fluids, Tylenol, um, rest, uh, and see if it doesn't get better. And if, if for some reason it's not getting better or um, you do get worse at that point, seek medical help. Um, the next um, thing that we'd like to talk about here is the, are the vaccines, They're the vaccines for H1N1 and type A, type B. And so Jan McCleary is going to talk about those and the availability and um, what we can expect there.